Print on demand can be so much more than just selling t-shirts with a standard design on them. One, there are tons of different products that you can print with print on demand, but did you know that you can also do amazing custom order products? And this is one that I love. I remember my sister got me these as a gift before and I just thought it was the coolest thing. And then when I found out how I could duplicate the same thing through print on demand, I just couldn't help but share. But first of all, if you don't know me yet, let me introduce myself. My name is Christina and I am a full-time print on demand seller and I wanna help others create financial freedom the way that I was able to with print on demand. And what am I even talking about? I am talking about custom face socks. And it could be more than just socks and I'll show some other examples later, but let me show you exactly what I mean. So this is what I mean when I talk about custom print face socks. You get a picture from your customer and you are able to print this pattern with their face on it through print on demand so that you never actually have to order any socks. You never have to print these socks. You never have to ship these socks. All you have to do is make them and it is extremely simple, but I wanna just show you how you can get this set up for yourself. But to prove first how well these do, these do, this is Allura. It is the Chrome extension that I use to do a little Etsy spying. And I can see just how well these sell. So you can see many of them are selling multiple times a month, but I can just filter by monthly sales. And you can see this one here has had over 7,000 sales and 301 monthly sales. And this is just for one product that this person offers. They offer this customization with tons of different other products. So they're applying this to multiple different products, but they are making this much just off this one listing only. These make fantastic gifts. Like I had said earlier, my sister got me these for um, Christmas. She has bought her boyfriend things like this. She has bought her friends gifts like this. And I always thought it was hilarious. I think everyone that receives these just thinks it's so funny. It's so cute. It's perfect for birthdays, for Christmas, especially for Valentine's Day, because you can also do this with underwear. I'll show you which ones you can use later, but we're going to focus on socks today so I can keep my mind in one place. So first, what you would need to do is collect a picture from your buyer. I'm just going to use a stock photo I found here on Canva that I'm allowed to use just for an example. So first, I would open the first thing that I would try, um, because you need to cut out the face for this to work, is I'm going to go to edit image and I'm going to try the background remover and see where that gets me for now. when it loads. So background remover got me this far, but I do want to cut out just the face. So you can either do this all in the next step I'm about to show you, but this I find just saves me some time since Canva is super um, kind of on point with their background remover. See, they're really good at catching all the hairs. I'm gonna download this and make sure I have a transparent background and I'm going to save that to my computer. Then we're going to open up this web app called Photopea or Photopea. I like to call it Photopea for some reason. But if you have watched me before, you've seen that I use this. It is a free version of Photoshop, which is super helpful because I don't use it enough to really want to pay for Photoshop. So having this free version is fantastic. So let's just open up that file. This can be either just the plain photo that was given to you by your customer. It doesn't have to be the version that was cut out with Canva already. You can do that all in here. I just liked it to get us one step closer. Then on the second option here, we have a few ways to grab parts of this picture and delete it. So you can use a lasso select, polygon lasso, or magnetic lasso. Magnetic lasso it tries to figure out itself where to lock and delete. Polygon, you can see here, if I use this, you just click around the area that you want to delete. So I'm just gonna continue using this. I'm doing this pretty quickly. If you're doing this for a customer, I would recommend spending a little bit more time, especially if you haven't cut out the hair yet. And then just make sure you connect it. Once you have this connected dye, and you'll see that it kind of starts to flash or it looks like this spotted and I'm just gonna hit delete. 
And now we have our floating head. Again, make sure you are spending a little bit more time on this than me. I am trying to do this as quickly as I can for a video. And we're going to export as PNG file and go ahead and save that. Then let's go into actually how we are going to get these printed in a way that we don't need to print them ourselves, hold inventory, or do any of the shipping. And that's using Printify, which is my favorite print on demand supplier. From here, we can print this pattern on tons of things. But again, we are doing socks. So let me just put in socks and see what options they have. So they have many different length socks. I'm gonna go with their popular one here, Sublimation Socks by Spoke Custom Products. And we are going to hit Start Designing. Then once we are actually in this view, we're gonna upload that photo that we had just cropped out, so it is just the face. So now we have our face in here, but this is obviously not what we want to print. So let's go and make some patterns in here, which Printify has made super easy with their new pattern creator. So just scroll to the bottom here and we're going to hit this toggle, create pattern. And I'm just gonna start playing with some of the settings to get this into a way that I think I would want this to print. I like doing the brick horizontal and just moving things closer. You can also over here make this smaller so that all of the faces become smaller. Then another thing we want to do is make sure that this is applied to both socks on both sides. Right now you can see we have front left leg, front right leg, back left leg. We want this same pattern across all of it. So over here, you're gonna see this button that looks like three or four different pages. We're gonna hit that and that's going to apply to all print areas. So now when we look at all the other legs, we have our pattern applied to every side of the sock. And now taking a look, we can see how this is gonna print on every single side. So we have our face applied to every side. Back in that edit, you could also change the color of sock as well, depending on what the customer wanted if they didn't want just a plain white sock. And if you wanted to do something similar to that image that I had showed you earlier, it did a face and then it said, I love you. So you can actually create that by first bringing back your file into Canva, adding the face and then adding that symbol or text that you wanted to break apart the pattern. Save this and do the exact same pattern creator that we had just done before when we did just the face. And remember, socks aren't the only option for this. It's just one of them. But take a look at this. Someone else is selling this on Etsy. It is boxers, which would be fantastic, hilarious. Valentine's Day gifts, birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, anything. I think it's hilarious. And you can easily make these on Printify. Pretty much that exact example I had just shown you with the heart pattern. On Printify, you can come in and search up their underwear. And they pretty much have that exact underwear on Printify and they have a matching woman's briefs so that you can have an option for a woman's listing and a men's listing. You can do things even like swimwear, you can do blankets, you can do pillows. There's tons of different options that this would make an amazing gift with if you wanted to stick outside of doing the socks and underwear, which I still think is a very viable option. And you can apply it to different niches, maybe do it for pet faces if you prefer to work more with animals, which is a cuter way to go edit their photos. Thanks guys. And remember, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thanks.